long oh, yeah, mate. It, really it wasn't a defeat. You've got to take a positive where it's there, haven't you, mate? I suppose result was probably a good one. We've actually not been beaten by the world and European champions in this crazy season, mate. Explain. Well, I did again. I, 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 I do a lot of ruminating in the car, and I did say I thought this might be a draw tonight. But we're not. If, as long as we're not playing City and Liverpool, we're not having our pants pulled down. And despite uh, some of the best uh, best attempts, we actually defended reasonably well. But it was more out of luck than judgment. And it, and it, it's funny because when. I know we've had discussions about going behind and we've, we've never had any confidence that we're going to get back into it and then tonight luckily we got a chance and of course he buried it again it was a lucky chance wasn't it though mate nothing really in creation terms at all tonight we got lucky with no. that and obviously we're thankful that it fell to the man that can actually score the goal because every goal we've scored that I can think for the last month has come from Ronaldo it's again the importance that the man has shown one chance, one goal. Well, I was when somebody was suggesting that his hip, uh, his hip was a problem again. I was bricking it because it, it did it did occur to me who we're going to who we're going to play up there as a focal point, and we really don't have anybody else. And thank God, I mean, f f for that reason alone, thank God the season is about to end, it, and we could all we could all go on holiday and try and forget and try and forget it. I mean, what what I wanted to say was. It was very clear uh, from very early on in the game that Chelsea were looking down United's left and they were targeting Tellez and Mount and, and Rhys James had so much freedom down there. There was a group of people around us who just said it's coming from the uh, it's coming from their right on their right hand side. Uh, it was full back to full back for their goal. Their full backs were awesome tonight, I thought. Yeah. Night and day compared to what we've got right now. And that's the sort of level and recruitment that's gonna need to come into this club. It, over the next few windows, mate. We can't do it in one, but that full back area, like you just highlighted then, is a major issue for us right now. Well we, we again we, we we've said we've said that uh, we were hoping that the full backs really wouldn't uh, wouldn't pose an issue but it's wherever you look I mean again everybody everybody was knowing that Matic was going off and I did think for one moment that we were sub we were put we were throwing back time and putting Phil Phil Jones as a holding midfielder when of course we went through at the back and well Mata stepped in but um, yeah the it, 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 that's gonna be what that's gonna be an area and if one Bissaka is going back to Palace probably on loan then that's kind of exciting because if we can get somebody worthy of that place it will it, I think that will make a difference that's it another shout out to another man who held his own there tonight but he's also off in the summer in Matic because he was probably our for me probably our best player yeah. on the night especially against Kante and Jorginho two quality international midfielders at the top of their game yeah Matic is going to be a miss on another area of the pitch that is going to need that big investment. Well, Ma Matic, Matic for me was our player of the match and Kante was brilliant for them. Kante was absolutely brilliant and thank God he was blowing out of his arse because he, he was he was signalling to the bench to come off. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't, to be honest, I, I, know, I know a lot of people on the channel have their favourites I mean, personally, I think Rice is the one who fits for purpose. I know he's expensive. Uh, can we do it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, that's the big test. Like I just said, then to, to London, it's what this board can do in the summer as well. Now it is over to them pretty much right yeah. now because the owners, the boards, Ten Hag, he's going to need investment. He's going to need his time, like we said. There's a lot of youth players coming through as well. He's going to need time to actually nurture them and see if he can do what he usually does with Ajax and yeah. Prosper there. But ultimately now everyone looking to the summer, it is on the board, mate, now. Well, again about this, again, if, you, if, you're, if you're believing the figures, five definites going and six looking to be, mo looking to be moved A on. Team. Well, some some of those places are going to be filled by the academy so the four the four that were on the bench tonight really you're looking at that and you think well they're going they're going on the tour 
and they're going to be they're, they're going to be part of that pre-season. So, in, in terms of their development, all four of those guys, probably mainly Hannibal and Shola, they've got to be looking at that and thinking, okay, I've got a big opportunity here because they're not going to fill all those spaces in one window. They're just not. Yeah. Exactly that, mate. Exactly that. Well, Graham, before you do go, mate, I think we deserve a man of the match tonight because we got a result. Yeah. And it was a positive one. Is it Matic for you, or was anyone out there competing with him? No, no. Uh, the man, you Matic for me, and uh, it was just a shame he had to go off again. Yeah, but I think that's what we know. Graham, cheers for coming on, mate. Take care, mate.